All right, so I told myself I wasn't going to do three tries at this, but here I am, because I don't know what the fuck else to do with my day. And by my day, it's 1.30 in the morning. I really don't give a shit anymore. Um, I haven't given a shit about much of anything in quite a while. I'm very drunk. Um, I apologize for this. This is probably going to be very long and very boring, but please try to... Um, hang tight with me. I will do my best to make this interesting. Um, I have been working on this and a couple of these and currently I'm chugging away at this shit. Uh, so, um, yeah, I am not happy. Why? There's reasons. If you know me, I'm going to start talking about religion, and you might figure, you know, put the dots together. But if not, I'm just going to talk about religion, and it should be interesting enough. Um, before I do, though, Joker, toys are wonderful. Toys will not fuck you. Women will fuck you. And I mean that in every sense. Like, they're confusing as shit. I don't get them. I wish I did, but I don't. Um, and I wish I could live my life without having to deal with it. But unfortunately, I'm a guy who has the needs of a man, uh, to put it as tactfully as possible. And, you know. I just, I, I'm pretty mellow about it, but fuck it. I, you know, I, I love the women in my life. And I, I don't know what to do about it sometimes. And so, um, yeah. I'm pretty fucking drunk. Um, can't feel my face, can't feel my teeth, can't you know, articulate a whole sentence all the time. Uh, this was topped right the fuck off. Um, when I started these posts, it was three ago. This is number three. This number one, I filled this right up. Uh, so yeah, been getting more and more drunk, so I don't know how well this is going to come out. But, uh, Another note, I've been playing Mafia 2. Pretty decent game. I've been playing on a hard, which is difficult. Um, but not so bad. Ugh. That's my water for the day, evening, because you know, I'm trying to try to not be so dumb about this. Uh, but, you know, yeah. Uh, Religion is pissing me off more than usual. Then you might know why. Um, I'm not gonna spell it out for you because this is up on the internet, and it's just not the forum for this to be specific. But uh, when it comes to religion, it just one of my real Idols is an author, Philip Pullman. He wrote uh, The Golden Compass and all those books. And the man, my ear itches, I'm sorry, it's kind of gross. Um, the man is really, he's able to capture what I believe very concisely. The truth is bigger than all of us, you know, it's bigger than what we can understand. So, when people think they have the truth, no matter what it fucking is, I mean, it, it, I don't care if it's Scientology or if it's, you know, you're a born again Christian or Jehovah's Witness or Catholic or Muslim or Jew or Hindu, I don't give a shit what the fuck you are. Like, you don't have the truth. There is no fucking truth. There's no, like, you know, answer to the universe. Fuck you, guys. You know, there's none of that. You know, I don't fucking get it. I mean, I, I understand that there's the desire to know 
what it all means, but there is no meaning. It's, it's, I don't know. Like, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there is a meaning. Maybe there is a God. Maybe he cares. Maybe he fucking looks in on me every, you know, couple hours and just sees how I'm doing. I don't know. But the thing is, I don't know, and I admit that freely. I don't know. And what I do know is, you know, there was a big bang. I can't, you know, I'm descended from chimps. You know, well, chimps and I are descended from the same ancestor, really, if you follow evolution closely enough to understand what the fuck is going on. It's like we come from a common ancestor. I'm not descended from chimps. Um, but, like, Oh. I apologize. This is not going to be the most interesting post. As far as me continuing to speak consistently. Oh. But, you know, no one has any fucking answers as far as, you know, what happens when we die. Like, I, I think I know, but I don't know, no. Really, like... So, and I believe, you know, it, like, I follow science and, you know, answers, you know, that you can have, you know, things that you can hang on to. I mean, these are real answers. So, I can't believe that something that people, you know, humans made up thousands of years ago is actually true. I mean, how can you fucking believe that? I, I don't know how you can believe that. I don't know how you can think that that's even close to anything that's possible. You know, where do you come up with this shit? You, like, the people who believe this, they were taught by their parents before they knew any better. And, you know, those their parents were taught by their parents you know, before they knew any better. It's, it's a cycle of indoctrination. You just pass it down. It's like child abuse, you know? Dad beat the shit out of me, so I'm gonna beat the shit out of my kids. You know that's how it works. It's the same fucking deal, and it's it's terrible. It, it it closes your mind to reason. You know, people who are very religious don't believe in evolution or you know where the origin of the universe is proven by science. It's like you know, there's evidence that shows this is how things happen. But no, I'm gonna believe a fucking book that someone wrote two thousand years ago. It's just stories people made the fuck up. You know, I don't get that. Why do why do people make choices like that? How can people make choices like that? It it seems so simple to me that you just believe like you know truth rather than fiction. You know, it's, it's bullshit or science. It's, I I don't get it. Ah, <sighs> I don't get it at all. Um, I wish I got it. I wish I could understand the appeal. Um. Because, well, I mean, I do understand the appeal. You know, people are scared of dying. They're scared of the unknown. And it explained the unknown in the year 400, you know. It did. Um, but these people are so fucking ignorant of the, hu the human condition. Um, Bradshaw, Mr. Bradshaw, my favorite teacher in the entire history of humanity. Um, he, uh, he could really have taught these people a lesson, I think, because, you know, there's nothing new that ever happens. Um, there have been, like, there's six billion people alive right now, on, at least six billion people alive right now on the planet, right at this very moment. It's more people than you can count in an entire lifetime. If you spent twenty, if you never slept, never ate, never took a break, if you, all you did was go one, two, three, four, from the time you were born till the time you died, you couldn't count that many people. And you know, thousands and thousands of generations of people have been alive on this planet. Um, this that's a mind-boggling number of human beings alive on this planet that have lived on this planet. And that's just this planet. I mean, there's got to be life somewhere else because there's, you know, an unfathomable number of stars in the universe. I mean, it's like the galaxy is, the galaxies are so numerous. There's, there's got to be some other life ever elsewhere. <sighs> I don't know. But like, <sighs> the, 
Bradshaw taught me that there is nothing new in the world. There's, you know, any emotion that you feel has you know, been experienced before, and someone's probably written about it more eloquently than you could possibly imagine. You know? And, like, there's... Nothing is new. I mean, the Greeks made up some gods to explain some mythology to explain what they couldn't explain. You know, where the sun came from, where fire came from, you know? They, they made shit up and it comforted them it's a human thing you know you need you need to do this and I understand why people do that it makes sense to me but like how can you say that something that someone made up 5,000 years ago is a myth and then something that someone made up 2,000 years ago is fact. This is, like, it's all, like, why would you choose to believe something that if you, like, step back and look at it, it's such, you know, it's, it's a beautiful story, you know? The Bible is full of really good stuff, you know? People, you know, it's, religion should be about how to lead a good life, you know, how to be happy with who you are. It shouldn't be about rules, like, you know, you can't fuck until you're married, or, you know, you, know, you can't worship anything else, otherwise you go to hell, you know, like, oh, golden calf, go to the fucking hell, you know, fuck you, you know? There is no God to give a shit about you, you know, like, oh, well, I don't know, maybe there is, but like, there's no evidence that there is a benevolent God, that, as far as I can see. I feel like if there was a benevolent God, there wouldn't be any fucking crack babies or, you know, gang shootings. There wouldn't be you know, an eight-year-old who gets hit by a stray bullet and dies on the way to the hospital. There wouldn't be, you know, people going, you know, bankrupt and losing their homes. You know, like, if a benevolent God should, like, take care of this shit. I don't see any reason to believe in a benevolent God. If you want to believe in a God, then fine. You know, there is a place for a God in anyone's mind. You know, like, there is no possible way to prove what happened before the Big Bang. We know that there was a Big Bang. We've shown that. You can show it mathematically, you can show it, you know, any way you like. You know, that, that happened. It's a fact. You can't argue with that unless you're fucking dumb or fucking religious. Um, you don't know where it came from. You know, there was nothing, and it exploded, and created the entire universe. That is a miracle. If you want to believe in a god, God made that happen. If you want to believe in God, God decided what, you know, the laws of physics are going to be, what the laws of evolution are going to be. You know, God is a clockmaker who set things in motion. I cannot believe in a God who gives a shit about me personally. That just, it, I can't believe that. And I cannot understand anyone who does. I cannot understand how anyone can believe that someone who has died 2,000 years ago can give a half a shit about them. They're dead. They've been dead for so many years, we don't even know where the fucking bones are. You know, Jesus was a cool guy. I respect everything about him, except for the fact that people fucking killed in his name and, you know, still believe he gives a shit about them. Jesus was a role model, not a deity. You know, there's a difference. There's a difference. Fuck religion, man, and fuck the people who believe too much in it. You know, it's unhealthy. When a story becomes the truth, it becomes poison. I am so much a believer in that, I cannot describe to you how much I hate the fact that, you know, people who never had a chance to make up their own minds are just indoctrinated with this such bullshit. And I don't even care anymore what people think about what I'm saying right now. And you know who what people I mean. It's just like... I cannot understand why anyone would choose to believe that. And I wish they would come to their senses. It just, it breaks my heart.
and I'm sorry. Good night.